interview Rich when he's up for the dating game. Um, and we're going to interview Rich and try to find him a date. But the twist is, in this game, Roland is going to actually portray the character of Rich. Oh boy. So this will be fun. Yeah. Since Great. they know each other, they can really dig in and you know, hit each other here. So. Can't wait. Your, your, your name is Rich. So My name is Rich. You're from LA. So, uh, I'm from Texas, but I live in LA. Oh, from Texas, but live in LA now. Yes. So, uh, do you have a day job outside of improv? And if so, what is that? Uh, I teach improv for a living. <laughs> I actually just got hired to be a tour guide in LA, uh, like just last week. Uh, what type of tour guide? It's a full day tour that picks up in Santa Monica, goes through uh, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, the Griffith Observatory, all kind of like it, it's like an eight hour tour. Uh, is it like a tour of the stars' homes or just a tour of no, the No, just like of the city. Okay, city tour types. type thing. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, so, uh, if you're looking, if you're, what do you do for fun? What are some things you do for fun or your hobbies? Uh, I love to play with my dog. I have a, a, a Labrador Retriever named Maggie. Um, uh, I'm big into. I'm kind of a science nerd, so I'll go attend science lectures. And we have to talk later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ladies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you getting? You're, 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 you're getting me interested. So. Oh boy. <laughs> well. Might not need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're looking for a date, what are some of the things that you look for in your date? Uh, I enjoy someone who likes pop culture, who's like watches, you know, TV and movies, reads books, that kind of thing. Well, what type of pop culture? Comics? Uh... Just the nerdiest of the nerdy. So the... Uh, I'm an adult male who loves to watch animated movies, uh, Pixar, Disney, DreamWorks. Doesn't matter. I watch all of them. Okay, They're cool. great. Uh, yeah, any uh, any science fiction, any superhero stuff, all good. Yeah, you're, 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 you just keep going down my alley. Here. I know. <laughs> so, I think it's a friendly show. It is a friendly show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so what are some of your turnoffs and the deal breakers? If you have the three characters, this character would be just totally, off, totally out the door. Yeah, I don't want anyone who's taller than me. <laughs> Uh, must love dogs, and uh, I, 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 I can't be with someone who doesn't enjoy like hiking or, or being outdoors in some aspect. And I'm a cat person, so that turns it right. Uh, there, so. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> okay, and, uh, uh, so uh, if, if you did, you remember? Did you uh, where, if you could go on your ideal date anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh boy, uh, I. Hmm. I guess my ideal date would be uh, I'd, I'd love to go back to Hawaii. There's a, there's a, a place called Little Beach in Maui that uh, whales come like within 100 yards of the actual beach. And uh, that I would do that during the day, and then I would drive up the top of Mount Haleakala at night to see the stars. OK, cool. Let's hear it for Rich. Thank you. And now we're going to find him a date on the Not For Top Just Unscrewed Dating Game. You have no better place to be. I'm your host for the evening, John Dwayneson, and let's meet our bachelor for this evening. Bachelor, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Rich Baker. Oh, Rich Baker, I've heard of you. That's my you. last name, not my profession. <laughs> and what exactly is your profession, Rich Baker? Uh, I'm very proud to say that I've made a career just doing comedy and writing and, and acting until now. I just took a job. No. I did, but it's gonna allow me to also be funny and talk to people and, and help, uh, help me uh, uh, buy uh, hats. You enjoy hats? I don't like to burn in the sun. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, excellent, excellent. Not a fan of sunblock, I guess. Uh, yeah, I use sunblock also. I use, uh, I use uh, sunglasses. I use all sorts of uh, protective wear. <laughs> all right. Well, of course, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a dome like that, you would need to protect it. Yes. And so, uh, what other hobbies do you have besides not getting sunburnt? Oh gosh. Uh huh. Well, I love uh, science. I go to uh, science museums. Uh, I visited uh, uh, 
jet propulsion laboratories. Uh, I take my girlfriend to uh, the uh, Griffiths Observatory. Did he just say girlfriend? Yeah. Did you say girlfriend? I did. Yeah. You, do you understand this is the dating game? I, do, I right? do now, yeah. Yes. Uh, but I figure why not have a second one just in case the first one doesn't work out. <laughs> always is good to have a backup plan yeah. and a 2.30 in the morning cable access show is probably the best place to find that. So uh, what are you looking for in that girl who uh, may be your, ba your backup? Uh, someone uh, under five feet. <laughs> under five feet. Someone who's going to love my dog as much as I love my dog. Uh, and who will, uh... How much do you love your dog? I love my dog a lot. I've got the cutest dog. I will post on that, I will post pictures of that dog on Facebook all the time. I will tell everybody how cute my dog is. I don't care if you don't want to hear it. Uh, it's cute, my dog's really cute. I love okay. my dog. Well, thank, thank you for respecting the opaque wall that yeah, we have can't between see you and the Bachelorette. Can't see a thing. Excellent. And so, uh, what would be some things that you wouldn't want in in a potential backup? Uh, uh probably I'd want her to be a woman. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. I think that's kind of, All kind right. of a big one. Well, then let's find out what we have behind All our right. opaque wall, Rich Baker. Thank you. All right. So here we go, and let's meet our bachelorettes. <laughs> Bachelorette number one, please introduce yourself and say hello to Rich. Well, hi, y'all. Hi, Rich. My name is Beth Sloan. I am an expiring and an expiring actress. <laughs> Get a little long in the tooth. Not a lot of callbacks. Anyway, I work at the Disneyland as Snow White because of my pretty milky white skin and because I got to wear a lot of makeup, which is good. And I'm also a big fan of dogs. This here is Muffles. In my purse. Oh. She's a French skin. How cute. Don't touch Muffles unless he invites you to touch him. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Beth. And uh, Rich, she certainly does not look expired. Oh, okay. Bachelorette number two, please introduce yourself and say hello to Rich. My name is Dorothy Pringle. I like to dehydrate. Fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I like to read steamy romance novels. All right, well, thank you, Dorothy. And Bachelorette number three, please introduce yourself and say hello to Rich. My name is Bernie Sokratsky. I've been living off the grid for seven years. <laughs> And what has your favorite part been about living off the grid? That it's nowhere near a grid. <laughs> All right, she's gridless, Rich. Gridless, I tell you. All right. I got to so, I got to admit if I had to make a choice right now it'd be tough. Uh, they all uh, have something I like. I understand. <laughs> well, maybe you could take all of them home and they'd be all your backups. Nope. Uh, that'd be great. Can I do that? No. Nope. Okay. That is not how this game works. No, the way that this game works, Rich, is you will ask three different questions okay. and our bachelorettes will answer those three questions. And then after that, you will decide who gets to be plan B. Okay. All right. Uh, so please, what's yes. your first question? Well, my first question is, uh, for all the bachelorettes, uh, uh, if there were a science experiment to show how much you would care for me if this relationship were to work out after my primary one were to fail, uh, <laughs> what would be the elements of that science experiment? Is there a way you can rephrase yeah, that? Yes, sure, <laughs> probably not, but I'll try. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, there's a All right, no, 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 we'll go with that. All right, fine. Thank you, Rich. Complicated. Yeah. All right, Beth, um, uh, the, what formula scientifically would you come up with to show your affection for Rich? Well, I'm just going to say up front, I do not want to win this game because you sound terrible. So I will say my family comes from Salem, 
And they had an old experiment they used to do, which I might like to try on you. See, what I would do is when you leave your other girlfriend, come to me as a fallback, I would light our bedroom on fire. <laughs> and if you survived the burning, well, then it was meant to be. I like her. She's exciting. <laughs> That is an interesting theorem. All right, Dorothy, uh, what uh, scientific formula would you create to show your affection for Rich? Well I, well, I think I would take his dog and try and dehydrate him in my food dehydrator. So no, so he would last forever. Oh. What? <laughs> She's a sentimental one, Rich. Oh, and 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 uh, uh, finally, uh, 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 Gert, Bernie, Bird, Ber Bernie. Okay, <laughs> finally, Bernie. Um, what scientific formula would you postulate to show Rich your affection? It's very simple: a small, isolated, sturdy shack in the middle of nowhere, plus a series of locks, plus me with the only key. <laughs> I like our attention to detail. All right, it sounds like many different minds coming up with many yeah. different formulas. It's still, still hard to choose, I like them all. I, I understand. <laughs> we have a sense of your standards now, Rich. All right, so what is your second question? Uh, so uh, you don't know this, I haven't mentioned it, but I'm a vegetarian. I, I did not know yeah, that. I'm a vegetarian. And uh, what I'd like to know is it's uh, our anniversary and uh, I am woken up to a breakfast in bed that you have made for me. What breakfast would you make uh, to show how much you love me? Uh, it, it all depends on winning your love, oh, doesn't yeah. it, Rich? Yeah. All right, Always. fine. <laughs> we'll go with that. All right, let's find out. All right, so this time we'll start with Dorothy. Dorothy, what breakfast in bed would you make for the vegetarian known as Rich Baker? Uh, red vines. <laughs> A whole bucket of red vines. All right, all right. And uh, Bernie, what what breakfast in bed would you serve to vegetarian vegetarian rich? Bark and berry squeezins. <laughs> and what exactly is the recipe for that? Bark and squeezin berries. All right, fair enough. And Beth and Mr. Muggles. What recipe? Muffles. 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 You cute little doggy. <laughs> what breakfast in bed would you give to vegetarian rich? Wow, well, such a charming question. Uh, let's see. I would have to come upstairs while you were still asleep with a hot pot of scalding coffee. And then I would pour it on you. And then I would tell you to leave or I'm getting a restraining order. That's strictly vegetarian. All right. I, I gotta admit, she's still exciting. Wow. Yeah. It's really, really it's even really more difficult to choose, really isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Wow. All right, and so finally, uh, let's hear your third question for our lovely array of bachelorettes. Uh, so, if you are, uh, if you become, you know, my girlfriend number two, uh, you're gonna have to walk my walk Maggie, my dog. Uh, treat her like the princess she is. She's the best dog ever in the world. No dog even comes close. Sorry, Mr. Muffles. Uh, so what I'd like to know is, on the days that you go on a date with my dog, Maggie, what would that date consist of? You really want to phrase it that way. So there's an experiment. Yeah, come on, nine, five, all right, five, 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 five. This time we will go off the grid to Bernie, and um, and, uh, how are you gonna treat his dog? Well, as I said, it's meat on a string. I'm gonna serve it up with a little butter. I mean, that thing can't run away, can it? And that's the most important part when you're living off the grid. Would you, would you happen to squoze anything on it? No, oh, I don't know, a squirrel. Squirrel squeezes. <laughs> That's a perfect recipe for vegetarian rich. All right, so now Beth 
and Mr. Mufels. Mufels. All right. Uh, how would you treat his dog? And what's your dog's name? Maggie. Maggie. Okay, so Maggie and Mr. Muffles. Maggie. 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 Okay. So <clears throat> both the dogs. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. <clears throat> both of the dogs would have a delicious breakfast of milk of magnesia and gator. <laughs> then I would take the keys to your car. I would put them in your car. And I would leave them there. <laughs> It'd be real delightful. <laughs> of course I would crack the window because I love dogs. <laughs> If you're a dog, you're a terrible, terrible man. All right, excellent. An animal lover to the core. And so, Dorothy, uh, what care would you provide for Maggie? I think that I did mention the dehydration process. You did? I did. That's it. <laughs> Consistency. Consistency. All right, Rich. Well, you've had a chance to hear yeah. all the answers from our lovely bachelorettes. I know it's a tough decision, but have you found your backup girl? I think I have. All right. Well, guess what? You don't get to choose. Oh, okay. No, you don't. Our audience gets to choose for oh, you. Great. Woo! because that's the way it happens at 2.30 in the morning. All right, so we're going to go back behind the opaque curtain, and I'm going to hold my hand over each of our three lovely bachelorettes, and you laugh and clap and carry on for the bachelorette you think should go out on a date and potentially be the replacement girlfriend for if Rich's girlfriend ever happens to find something unfortunate happen to them. So we'll start off with bachelorette number one, Beth. You can't escape that, Beth. All right, bachelorette number two, Dorothy. And bachelorette number three, Bernie. All right, well, it sounds almost unanimous. I'm gonna pull away the curtain and Rich, meet your new frenemy, Beth! Ah! Kill me, oh, that Kill is such an ugly Kill dog! Me. My dog is so much cuter than that oh. dog! Oh, you bastard! Okay, for the dog!